I woke up this morning, I can't exactly say that I was expecting the news that dropped today to drop. Because, well, it deals with a rumor that's been almost age old and we've seen pop up from time to time again here in the past couple of weeks, but it deals with Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. But this one seemingly had a little bit more weight behind it than somebody else just tweeting out, hey, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered is happening. We talked about this most recent rumor being something that was literally just an article saying, hey, here's why Modern Warfare 2 Remastered could happen. And then the tagline that went viral on Twitter was that it was happening. So that kind of disconnect there that sort of created a false hype and a little bit of narrative that didn't match up with the article that was actually linked. That created created a sort of buzz that really didn't have much weight behind it, but today's actually did. And that is what we're going to be talking about here in this one today, because a new listing for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered actually went live over on Amazon Italy, but then was since removed. So today I want to talk to you guys about what this could mean, the pros and cons, and give you guys a little bit of the facts and some arguments for both sides in which we could take a look at what this might end up ruling out to be. Right now, your guess is as good as mine. I'm a very skeptical person, so I want to take this with a grain of salt, but there also are a lot of things that once again on the sides for it possibly happening there's a lot to argue on that side as well. So once again, I wanna just let you guys know both sides of this and you guys can decipher your own opinions on this, what it might mean based on all the evidence here for everything. So that said, the initial report ended up coming out of once again, an Amazon Italy listing for COD MW2 Remastered on PlayStation 4. And it was listed identically as such. And I wanna make that known because we're gonna come back to that in just a little bit. But it was listed by Activision Blizzard, apparently for the PlayStation 4, and is supposedly releasing on April the 30th and costing 20 euros, which equates out to $25 in the States. So if you need a second to process that, I myself was the same way where I just looked at it and I was like, is this a real thing? And sure enough it was, but that was the listing. That was what everybody started posting about, tweeting about all that good stuff that you may have seen here throughout the day. And a lot of your other favorite YouTubers might've even talked about this, to which you might know the basic insight on this situation already. So I think it's a fair location to start. Let's start out with the good here. Why could this be something that is actually legit? Once again, there's a number of reasons why, but one thing that initially caught my attention was that major news outlets were covering it. With the last rumor that we ended up seeing with Modern Warfare 2 Remastered being mentioned, again, that was something in which the article that was attached to what went viral on Twitter, posted by Unilad and other sort of Facebook gaming communities like that, the article itself really just talked about why it could be remastered, but the title on the tweet and everything connected to it was a sensational sort of clickbait type thing in which it said it was going to be remastered. So that dis connect was something that was kind of like a buzzfeed of gaming news and i don't mean to discredit them in that capacity but it was something that was done for traction to get the clicks these upper tier news sites for gaming like your mp first like your charlie intel like your ign they don't necessarily rely too much on just trying to get that traction and that unique viewers to their site they really cover the stuff that they see is a little bit more credible than anything else and you're more than welcome to disagree with me on this i just see those sort of gaming sites in a little bit more of a different league than the other ones like the unilateral and other Facebook community stuff like that, where it's in my books kind of like a news versus gossip news type of thing. But again, your views on it could be totally different. That's totally fine. But that's just one thing that caught my attention is these major media outlets with a sort of path that cuts through the rumors and really looks for the actual facts those sorts of sites posted about this, which was interesting to me because, well, maybe they're part of the COD Illuminati and know something. But jokes aside, another big thing that also comes down to it was another industry insider actually talked about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered being announced this month. And that's something that kind of went out of the radar for a lot of people, including myself. I had to go back and actually look for this once I heard some chatter about it. But Marcus Sellers, if you guys remember who that is, he's an industry insider that has gained a lot of attraction outside of the Nintendo community now, recently because of his talks with Black Ops 4. He really talked about a lot of Black Ops 4 stuff months before it was ever officially announced, like we saw last week or whenever it was that we saw Black Ops 4 initially revealed. But this might be another notch on his belt of credibility now if this does end up getting announced officially in this month. He ended up saying to Alpha Sniper, a Spanish YouTuber, that Modern Warfare 2 Remastered was going to be officially revealed this month. So if that's the case, we still have a couple of days left, two weeks left in March, and therefore that would give us a month to ramp up the hype for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered if it does fall in line accordingly with this Amazon Italy listing. Another big thing to make mental note of is that Activision actually made comments recently talking about remastered titles in 2018. They ended up saying in an SEC filing that they would have more titles from their IP library in 2018. But again, myself and a lot of other people think that this might be primarily and maybe even solely 
heavily geared towards a Spyro remaster coming in the summer. That's been rumored for a long time now, and again, many other industry insiders have sort of already confirmed that it will be happening, and it makes a lot of logical sense, especially given how well Crash Bandicoot was received with that remaster. But again, that sort of idea of more Activision titles coming as remastered could actually feed into this a little bit further. It doesn't necessarily have to just be Spyro that's releasing in summer and being remastered in 2018. Maybe it does extend a little further. But that to me is a little bit more of the weaker end of the spectrum in terms of arguments, but it's something that I do want to bring up simply because it does tie into relevant discussion here with this. But that said, if we end up seeing this sort of stuff happen, well, we could actually see a new era of Call of Duty because previously we've had a Call of Duty title every single year. And that's something that a lot of people kind of agree with. They think it's a great idea, but also some people think, well, it destroys longevity and player attention really drops off. But that said, that might introduce a new six month plan, which I don't know how exactly I feel about from a content perspective as a YouTuber. I think it's absolutely fantastic because you will have almost an update every single week to talk about something with massive context and influence that you can do stuff with and make it cool and fun and interactive. But at the same point in time, it almost demeans the value of each individual title at that point in time. So what I mean by this is potentially we end up seeing Modern Warfare 2 Remastered come out at the end of April, April 30th, but then we have Black Ops 4 in October. Maybe then, another six months later, we see World of War Remastered in April of 2019, and then we see the theoretical Modern Warfare 4, whatever Infinity Ward is releasing next October in 2019. So you see that sort of pattern kind of happen in which we see these titles rapidly being remastered and brought back up to speed on current generation hardware, and then we end up seeing six months for each life cycle. Now again, that's a very far-fetched idea, and I don't know if I actually agree with it entirely. I think that might be a little bit too out there, but the idea is there, that's the thing. The final thing that I do want to mention in regards to the potential that this actually does happen deals with COD World War II actually, as crazy as that might sound. Another interesting point of discussion is that we ended up seeing a list of throwback basic trainings in COD World War II from the PC version of the game. It was listed in PC and is only available in throwback playlists, something that we've never seen before, we've never even seen any chatter of within World War II, but the listed basic trainings are Danger Close, Commando Pro, Double Tap, Martyrdom, Stun Times 3, Stopping Power, and Juggernaut. Now, maybe that does go hand in hand with something with a Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, but the perks themselves are from COD 4, with the interesting inclusion of Commando Pro. So it's interesting to see how this might tie in, but might not at the same time. Maybe it's just a fun little community thing in which it goes all the way a blast from the past, and tries to bring that sort of thing up into World War II, given that the entire system for create a class and all sorts of perks has been changed so drastically since we first saw these initial offerings of these throwbacks back in their heyday. So maybe it is something that is planned for a release in a short period of time, but it could coincide with the release or announcement time of Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Now, as interesting as all of this sounds, why can this not seem legit now? I wanna talk a little bit about the downside because I think there is a little bit that doesn't add up entirely. Firstly, it was listed by a third party. It wasn't actually Activision or Blizzard that ended up listing this. A lot of people will gravitate towards the thing of, it said Activision Blizzard, so therefore they posted that it's legit. That's the end of the story. But that's actually not the case. It was listed by a third party, and that could be literally anybody. The validity of the party of who ended up posting this is still in question. We don't know exactly who it would be. It's not like it was a GameStop listing or a game from the UK or anything like that, or an EB Games from Australia. But that third party is something that raises a red flag in my mind as to why we should be a little bit skeptical. It simply shows up as Activision Blizzard just because it would be a title from them. Another thing is the price point, because $25 for a remaster sounds awesome and everything like that, but when we saw Modern Warfare went for $40 as a standalone title, it just seems odd that it wouldn't match up with that with what we've saw previously. And of course, maybe that's something in which they just want to get this out there, create some hype and everything like that, and ramp up some player numbers on another title of theirs before the launch of Black Ops 4. But again, $25, that almost seems like something that would only be multiplayer only campaign, which kind of can coincide with another thing I want to talk about, because if you guys remember, Modern Warfare 2's campaign was great, it was fantastic and everything like that, but in today's current political climate, I'm not entirely sure the mission No Rushing would fly too well, especially the flack the video game industry right now is getting in the current times as well. It just seems like an ill-timed thing to release this given all of that considered. But maybe that's something we don't really have to worry about. Maybe that's reading way too far into it. But another thing is that, well, April 
30th is literally right around the corner and we've heard absolutely nothing about this. We've heard some whispers up until now, yes, but it's just people saying why it could be remastered, why they think it should be and other things, but nothing of an official outlet, nothing actually factually based hints or teases at Modern Warfare 2 Remastered happening up until this point in time. In April 30th, maybe this entire listing was just a placeholder in which we see this coming at a later point in time, but why? It just seems weird to me as to this whole no hype up until now, but again, the timing coming back to that, it just seems off. Why now? Why 2018? Black Ops 4 is guaranteed to sell like absolute mad just because of the hype around Treyarch titles, and again, just the Black Ops name itself could sell an insane amount of copies. And another thing is the 10 year anniversary of Modern Warfare 2 is next year, so you could easily attach that to the next Infinity Ward title, so why now? Serious question, if you really think that World War II is flopping in player count from an administrative perspective, why not give a World at War Remastered and tie it in with a Treyarch title? Why Modern Warfare 2? Why would that happen now and not next year? And so you could have two Treyarch titles released in the same year, two Infinity Ward titles released in the same year. Why now? That's what I keep coming back to. It just seems very strange to me. But I think that's where we're going to wrap it up. Again, I think some great points for and against why this could happen, but I want to let you guys know all of this so you guys could have your own opinions on everything that has happened. Everything is now laid out on the table, at least to my immediate knowledge and off the top of my head, everything I have for you guys is on the table. So that said, I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you think it's actually going to be happening? Do you believe that Modern Warfare 2 Remastered is going to be announced later this month and we could end up seeing it being released on the 30th of April leading up until a Black Ops 4 release? Or do you think it's absolute garbage? Do you think this is something that has absolutely no validity to it and it's something that was a fan-made thing or a complete fake just to garner some false hype? Whatever it may be, I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Right now, there is no right or wrong answer, so I just wanna open this up for your discussion. That said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys aren't in the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing, especially regarding stuff like this. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, if it happens, you know I'm going to be all over that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. And of course, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected to me outside of YouTube. Practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram, trying to get a little more active over there. Somebody I saw in the comments yesterday asked if I'm actually trying to get active or if it's just something I say, I'm trying to, I promise. So if you guys want to follow me over there, that link is as well in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Mine is Espresso. Take care and peace.